Okay, I started this project. It is a frame that I got at a thrift store. And I primed it with white. So I can make up my own frame with a bunch of these little molds. And this one. Now, because I started this one, I'll finish it and show you how I finish it. But I will also show you from the very beginning with the littler frames. Now, these are not solid wood. They're veneer, but they're nice and they're flat. And I like that they're flat so I can do some, you know, molding on them. So, this is so far what I've done. That's the back of it. And I will show you what I do um, when I add the molding to it. It's going to look really pretty. Well, you're not going to be able to see the whole frame in the camera frame. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about what I did or explain it. And then when we do this smaller frame, I'll do it from start to finish. These were only $1 at some thrift store. This was two bucks. The glass is over there. So what I did was I used this mold. Okay. And I made all these different um, little trinkets out of the plaster because I had extra plaster left with only one mold here. You know, I had to do it one at a time. So I needed six of them. It took forever. So I had to use the plaster up every time. Um, so I made a bunch of stuff. And then what I did was, is I took, I needed pieces like this here to fit. So I took a Dremel and I actually cut out the edges on what I needed. So I cut pieces to make it all fit the way I wanted to. And I'll show you what I do in the next video. But for this one, all I'm going to do now is take this off here, this camera. And I am going to glue this. And you can see where I had to do separate pieces. And what I did was, is I used a Dremel drill bit a really skinny drill bit and I drilled holes all around there and then I took the drill bit and used that as like a saw because the saw on the Dremel was too I mean the the blade on the Dremel was too big so I used a drill bit instead a really fine one and I cut little pieces to make them fit the way I wanted Okay, and so it's going to look like this. Now, of course, I want this to be fairy-like or nature-like. So I'm either going to add these little oak leaves. I can add them in there. Or I can add a larger one just right on top like that. I haven't decided yet. So what I'm going to do, all, all I have to do actually is glue this on to this board and then I'm going to paint it. So I primed it all so it would all match and then I'll paint it all together. And I'm probably going to match this to the fairy apothecary video. If you see that video, you'll see the fairy apothecary um, shelving unit that I did 
and I'm going to paint it green, stain it with black, and then highlight it with gold. So I think I'm going to do the same with this one. Um, I may do the little ones differently. They don't have to match, but I think I want to match this one with that. So, okay. So all I have to do yet is glue it with, I'm just going to use like PVA glue, Elmer's glue, tacky glue, and glue it onto the frame. And then once I paint it, it should be pretty secure. So I will show you when I start painting it and it's all glued. Okay, so I painted it black with some chalk paint. You can just use matte and then I'm just going to add a glaze to it. And then what I'm going to do is enhance these butterflies here and here. If you can see that one. So I will enhance those, but I'll do the glaze, but I have to dry this first. So since I'm using this, I was I changed my mind. I was going to match this to the apothecary that I did, but instead I'm going to just do it this way. Um, you can really, really glamorize this. You can really make it beautiful. You could paint it gold, you can paint it any color you want. I mean, just adding this plaster of Paris will really upscale any kind of thrift frame that you purchase or that you find even. So I'm gonna give it a little more time to dry and then I will add the glaze. This is old too, I've had it for years. So, I mean, you can use paints like this, any kind of metallic paint that'll work, but this is thinner. So we'll see how this works. I might have to go over it a couple times, we'll see. All right, I'll be back.